fractional exponents can be a little daunting at first, so it never hurts to do as many examples as possible. So let's do a few. What if we had 25 over 9, and we wanted to raise it to the 1 half power? So we're essentially just saying, well, what is the principal square root of 25 over 9? So what number times itself is going to be 25 over 9? Well, we know 5 times 5 is 25, and 3 times 3 is 9. So why don't we just go with 5 over 3? Because notice, if you have 5 over 3 times 5 over 3, that is going to be 25 over 9. Or another way of saying this, that 5 over 3 squared is equal to 25 over 9. So 25 over 9 to the 1 half is going to be equal to 5 thirds. Now let's escalate things a little bit. Let's take, let's take a really hairy one. Let's raise, let's raise 81 over, over 256. 81 over 256 to the negative 1 fourth power. I encourage you to pause this and try this on your own. So what's going on here? This negative, the first thing I always like to do is I want to get rid of this negative in the exponent. So let me just take the reciprocal of this and raise it to the positive. So 1, so I could just say that this is equal to 256 over 81 to the 1 fourth power. And so now I can say, well, what number times itself, times itself, times itself, is going to be equal to 256? And what number times itself, times itself, times itself, did I say that four times? Well, what number, if I take four of them and multiply, do I get 81? And one way to think about it, this is going to be the same thing. And we'll talk about this in more depth later on when we talk about exponent properties. But this is going to be the exact same thing as 256 to the 1 fourth over 81 to the 1 fourth. You, in fact, saw it over here. This over here was the same thing as the square root of 25 over the square root of 9. Or 25 to the 1 half over 9 to the 1 half. So we're just doing that over here. So one, we still have to think about what number this is. So, and this is a little bit of, there's no easy way to do this. You kind of have to just play around a little bit to come up with it. But 4 might jump out at you if you recognize that 16 times 16 is 256. We know that 4 to the 4th power, or you, you're about to know this, is 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. And 4 times 4 is 16, times 4 is 64, times 4 is equal to 256. So 4 to the 4th is 256, or we could say 4 is equal to 256 to the 1 4th power. Fair enough. Now what about 81? Well, 3 might jump out at you. We know that 3 to the 4th power is equal to 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, which is equal to 81. So 3 is equal to 81 to the 1 4th. So this top number, 256 to the 1 4th, that's just 4. 81 to the 1 4th, that is just 3. So this right over here is going to be equal to 4 thirds.